My name is Andrea, and this is my story. My daughter Natalie was just about three when she was diagnosed with high-risk acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Day two of diagnosis, uh, they started chemotherapy. They're going over page after page that you have to initial. Um, it's like a 40-page document, and it's basically a waiver of sorts to say, hey, we're going to help your child the best we can, but so you know, the only way to help her is to poison her body. And this poison could cause permanent damage if she survives, or it could kill her. And as a parent, it's horrible and terrifying that that's your only option, is to go ahead and, and sign those pages so that they can try to save your child's life. I think the biggest struggles over Natalie's two years um, was the non-existence of any kind of predictability. You go from leading your life the way you do every day. You go to work, the kids go to school, you come home from work, you make dinner, you go to bed. And you know, your child's diagnosed with a disease like cancer and that all goes out the window. And it's, it's sad. I mean, we were passing ships. Natalie and I would be in the hospital. My husband Dan and our daughter Hannah would come uh, after his work for dinner. We'd get an hour, maybe two together, and then they'd go home and Natalie and I would stay having to put my other daughter on the back burner every single time. Um, that was really hard too. But I, I look at it now and say, you know what? We got through that. And we came out stronger. I can honestly say our family came out stronger. When you're in treatment uh, with your child, you're counting down the days till you're done. And you think, you know, when it's over, we're gonna have a party, we're gonna celebrate, and we're gonna go back to the way our lives were before, and it's gonna be great. What you're not thinking about is the fact that it's, it's not your life you're going back to, it's a new life now um, because you've seen too much. My daughter's healthy and we're able to do normal family healthy things. Yes, we think about her cancer potentially returning and those things scare us, but at the same time we don't let them um, consume us. We don't let cancer win in, in that aspect.